Welcome back to a new AI tutorial. In this video, we are going to talk about CSV agents, which allows us to talk with our CSV files. We are going to talk about how we can code it in Python, and then we are going to create a Streamlit web app for uploading our CSV file in a web interface and asking questions to it. You can see the Streamlit app that we are going to be creating in this video from the screen right now. Let's start coding. Okay, so I will be using Visual Studio Code in this tutorial, but you can use any code editor that you want. I'm going to be creating a Jupyter Notebook firstly for showing how CSV agents work and creating a CSV file and then we are going to call a web app on Streamlit where users can upload their CSV files and talk with it. So I'm going to be closing this welcome page and I will say like csvagent.ipmb and next up I'm going to select my kernel here real quickly and let's talk about Langchain and agents. So Langchain is a framework designed to enable the development of applications using language models. And the agents are special tools that use language models to perform complex tasks by making decisions step by step. When you provide an agent with a task, it uses a combination of its own logic and the tools provided to achieve the task. So in our case, we will provide an agent with a CSV file and allow it to answer questions using that file. So let's start to that. Firstly, let's create a CSV file quickly. I will say import pandas as pd and I want it to be a quick tutorial so I don't want to create the data on the video. I created something like this using ChatGPT and I have this data set right now. I will say data frame pandas data frame and I will pass the data in here. So we are going to have the data frame and I'm going to save it to something like to CSV and we can say to its name like sample data.csv and I'm going to set the index as false. So when I set this I'm going to have this data frame in a CSV file like this. Here it is. So we have our CSV file right now. We are going to be using this data in this video. And in the next step what I'm going to do is I'm going to filter the warnings because I don't want to see any type of depreciation warnings so I will say import warnings next up I will say warnings filter warnings and I'm going to say ignore next up let's set our API key I will say import operating system and I will say operating system environment I will say open AI API key and it's going to be echo to the API key which starts with SK but I'm not going to share my API key you can get it from the open AI website you can just type to the Google like OpenAI API Playground and you can create your API key. It's free to create an API key but using models maybe requires some money but when you open your account they give you 5 dollars and you can use that. So I'm going to change this type point here. You can just type OpenAI API Playground. You can create an account, get your free 5 dollars on there and create an API key for free. And you can paste that in here so you are going to be ready to work with OpenAI models I'm going to be pasting my API key in here next up I'm going to delete that and I will be starting to record again okay my API key is ready right now in next step we are going to do our imports from Langchain I will say from Langchain import OpenAI and next I'm going to say from Langchain.agents import create csv agent actually i'm not sure if it's on the length chain experimental or length chain agents yeah okay so it's in length chain experimental great so i'm going to update this like experimental and now we are going to be able to do our import like this in the next step what i'm going to do is i'm going to create my agent like I will say create CSV agent I will pass OpenAI like this it's going to be the language model I'm going to initialize it like this next up I will say the CSV file path which is I'm going to copy this name over here paste it in here like this in a format like string and I'm going to set the verbose as true and I'm going to set hello dangerous code as true so I'm going to have my agent ready in here 
Now we can talk to our data using this agent and let's do that. Let's ask questions. So I will say agent.run and I will say what is the average salary and I'm going to make this in a string like this and let's see our response. It says entering new agent executor chain. Oh, it re the response quickly. So let's check it. I will say data frame salary and I will say dot mean for checking if it's correct. Great. So our information here is correct. Let's continue with the next questions. So I'm going to say agent dot run. I'm going to ask like how many people are from USA and let's see our result it says one and the answer is correct great so next question let's test it out more i'm going to say agent dot run and i'm going to ask like who has the highest salary and i'm going to make it run so let's see our answer it says charlie has the highest salary and that's correct great Let's do a final one, like I'm going to say agent.run and I'm going to give it like what is the average age and let's see our result. It says the average age is 29.5. Let's check it. Data frame age.mean and it's correct. Great. So our agent is working nicely. Now it's time to create a web app where we can upload our CSV file and ask questions to our data. Okay, let's do that. So I will say app.py and I'm going to code my streamlit app in here. So at the first place, I will say import streamlit as st. Next, I will say from length chain import openai like this. And I will say from length chain agents import. Actually, I remember it was like length chain experimental agents import create CSV agent. And I will say import pandas as PD because I'm planning to display the data frame before getting questions from the user. So I will say simulate the title and I'm going to give it a title like CSV data query wait lang chain next up i will say uploaded file and it's going to be simulate file uploader i'm going to say like let's say upload a csv file and we can specify the file type like this it's going to be more secure in this way and next up i'm going to say if uploaded file is not none and we will say like csv file path and it's going to be uploaded file dot name next up we will say with open csv file path and we say this as file file write and uploaded file get buffer like this Great. Next up, I'm going to say data frame and it's going to be pandas read CSV, CSV file path. We can pass like this. Next up, we are going to say streamlit write uploaded CSV data. And now we are going to display the data frame like this data frame DF. Next up, what I'm going to do is I will say agent and I'm going to create my agent in here, create CSV agent. I will say openai like this. Next, I'm going to say CSV file path. I will say variables is true. And next, I will say hello dangerous code equals to true like this. Okay, so we have that ready right now. And now it's time for the text input. And I will say query is going to be streamlit text input. Ask my question about the CSV and we can say like data and next what I'm going to do is if query is not empty we are going to say response is going to be agent 
run query and we will say streamlet write answer like this actually it's agent and I'm going to say like streamlet write response so this is going to be our app and it's ready right now now we are going to make this run like I will say firstly we need to set our API key in environment like I'm going to say export OpenAI API key and I'm going to paste my API key in here but I'm going to cut that part down I'm going to paste it then I'm going to clear this terminal but you can paste your API key like this after export OpenAI API key EQ sign and then you can continue to developing just press enter after pasting it okay I have my API key ready right now in the next step I will say actually let's also filter the warnings like I will say import warnings and warnings filter warnings ignore so I'm going to save my file right now and I will say streamlet run app.py and now the app is going to be displayed in the browser you can check your browser or if it didn't appear in your browser you can just copy this address the localhost 8501 and paste that in your browser for reaching to the web app that we just created also you can follow the link from here as it shows okay I'm going to be re-recording in my browser in a second okay so here is our streamlet app and it looks pretty great we can change its settings like we can say it's going to be in the light mode or it's going to be in the dark mode I'm going to be using the dark and now I'm going to add my CSV file in here I'm going to drop it and it reads the CSV file like this and it's working smoothly let's ask some questions to our AI I will say what is the average age and let's see our response and our response is going to be 29.5 great ask another question like where does Diana lives and let's see our answer it's going to be Germany great okay let's also ask this for Bob it says Bob lives in Canada it's correct let's ask a more complex question like I'm going to say what is the total sale of the entries like not sale I'm sorry salary of the rows who has the age less than 29 so we are going to have 70 oh great 7,000 plus 95,000 it returns 165,000 so it's working really really good and I'm going to ask a final question like what is the total age and let's see the answer yeah okay our app is working perfectly fine let's go back to the code editor so we also see that our chain outputs in the terminal I'm going to be closing that let's summarize what we did in this video and then we can finish this tutorial so in the Jupyter notebook side we started with creating a data I want to show you the data creation process for you to understand the data and we have this data frame in here we filtered out the warnings next up we set an API key and I talked about how you can get your API key from the OpenAI website and we imported OpenAI for the language model and we imported create CSV agent for our agent in this video next up we asked questions to our data frame like this to our CSV file and we get the answers correctly on here next we moved this to a streamlit app and we, in here we import a streamlit we say title we get an file input like this user uploads a file and if user uploads the file then we say like we save the file name as csv file fat we open it next up we create a data frame and we display the data frame we create our agent in here next we take a query as text input and we generate the response using the agent we have and we write the answer on the screen so it's working perfectly
Thanks for watching this tutorial on CSV Agents. I have a playlist of AI and Langchain tutorials where I have more than 10 videos just like this one. You can reach to that playlist from the cards of this video or from the link in the description. I'm also sharing new data science videos every week on my channel. You can subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Have a great day.